Did you know that the levels of hyaluronic acid between the ages of 20 and 70 are depletes in your body by around 75%? And if you're trying to keep wrinkles away, then it is vital that you keep good healthy levels as you get older. Hi guys, Tony here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about oral hyaluronic acid and the reason why I prefer it over the topical solution. That's what most people use. And the reason why I prefer oral is well, there's a lot more evidence that it uh, actually gets into the skin. It is a rather long molecule, so actually getting permeating it through the uh, the like epidermis, deeper into it, into the dermis is it's a, it's a tall order. So uh, it's there's there's actual very little statistical uh, evidence that uh, topical or you know skin serums containing hyaluronic acid actually get deep into the skin. I do, do still use it, but what I do is I combine it with a couple of other peptides, and it's just more of a base, really. And the problem with is I have um, around my eyes, uh, my eyes are very sensitive, so you can actually do more damage than good by putting all these serums on. So now I use things like Aveeno cream and all these uh, paraben-free uh, um, moisturizers, because obviously you need to do something for your eyes, you don't want to let them just dry out. I've been taking oral hyaluronic acid now for two months. I've been taking the one that surprised me by Do Not Age. And yes, I am gonna continue taking it because I do believe the evidence is much stronger for uh, absorbing it orally. As I said, there's very little I can do uh, from the external or around my eyes. I do berry acid peels and peptides and things like that. And they're just, the skin's so thin, it's so sensitive that it's just not worth the risk. And going back to the studies on oral hyaluronic acid, Yes, they are funded by um, skincare companies, so there is some bias. But when you look at the data, there, there seems to be it seems to be a credible studies. The the ones that have been done so far. There's always, with typically with stuff with skin serum, there is going to be some kind of commercial bias towards these things. But you just have to look into the data. There is some evidence that having high molecular weight hyaluronic acid has further benefits with lowering inflammation. And I'm pleased to say that Do Not Age's one is 2.6 million Daltons, whereas the ones that used in the studies I've mentioned were around 300,000. So what are the benefits of taking hyaluronic acid orally? Well, let's start with the skin. Yes, it helps with skin elasticity, the flexibility. So these, you know, what they what you call it, dynamic wrinkles. So they're less likely to uh, kind of come out when uh, when you smile, things like that, and then it also helps with keeping the skin hydrated. That's why obviously I take a moisturizer, but then you want to take something internally too. It also helps with joint health too, and this is something that I worry about. Like say with my knees, I suffer with flat feet, so doing things like jogging can really put my knees through their paces. And there's been studies with it uh, improving the symptoms of uh, osteoarthritis, and particularly in the knee in one particular study. There's also some evidence that it can even improve bone strength too. So what are the side effects of taking it? Well, unfortunately, there's not many. I mean, it's something that naturally occurs in your body. Yes, there has been some evidence that when you put it in single cell petri dishes with cancer, it can accelerate the growth. But in other studies with mice, it hasn't shown, been shown to do that. So being in a petri dish, you could argue that the evidence for cancer is not very strong. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you've got a family history of cancer, it's worth looking into speaking to your doctor. I'm not your doctor, so this is not medical advice here. Like with all these things, you just have to weigh up the risk to reward. Like for example, eating too much protein is definitely linked to cancer, but if you don't have enough of it, then you can get really poor recovery. You feel really just bad in general. Your muscles don't heal very well. So it's about finding that sweet spot. If you're new to this channel, I'm doing a, a series called Reversing My Age, and we're gonna be looking at all kinds of different interventions for doing that. I do take hyaluronic acid combined with uh, collagen. I take the maximum amount, 15 grams a day of bovine collagen peptides. And I do also take a glucosamine for my joints. It's been shown to have a synergistic effect with the collagen doing that. And those are the main things I do from an oral standpoint for my skin, obviously diet, all these things, having like a decent amount of copper in your diet, all these things has a huge impact too. Also keeping blood glucose down has a big impact, more than people realize. I think people focus a lot on the sun, which yes, is very important, but also keeping that blood sugar down is equally. If you're looking to buy oral hyaluronic acid, then visit uh, Do Not Age. I've got my own uh, discount code, TEM10 for 10% off. They have great distribution across the whole world, you know, America, Europe, so it's worth looking into it, even if you don't live in the UK. Thanks for watching, see you next time.